Saint-like silhouette, I lay between her knees. A heartless harpist, I am a heart-sore harp with rusty, untuned strings that tangle and knot. Playing her chords, I sing soprano songs, ballads, and melodies. I spit Victorian waterfalls and overflow her thighs with zooming Zambezi tides. She sings along, but only much, much louder, grazing her fingers through my hair, playing notes with the knots, and imbalanced harmony echoes throughout our bodies. Vibrations and pulses, intimate, silk skin, pink prints instigate, blue veins blown, irrigate. I wait for her. The gestures of the clock are slow and heavy, laboring its arms through repetitive cycles, laboring its arms through repetitive cycles, seconds upon seconds, each of holding the gravity of an entire lifetime in real time. Solo sober soliloquies leave me longing in her absence. Who knew distance would be the best adhesive for a soul and a muse? Monet-esque, an evasive mirage under the parasol. Sun-kissed sinner, sipping slowly from my lips, dripping gently from a kiss, slipping silently away, seldom ever looking back. I see it all now, drenched in sepia. All these broken clocks, shattered shards of hourglasses and scattered sands of time couldn't mean less when I collapse myself in your paradise. Apparently two beings cannot occupy the same space and time. So have we become one with this union? Does that mean that you are the hand that holds my brush or the brush that paints my hand? My amusing muse, has it been you all along? Was it a lucid psilocybin painting hanging vividly in the backdrop of my dreams? Or was it simply your embrace? Surely we painted the sky red with passion together. Yes, I am sure of it. I see it all now. Wet with innocence, your iridescent charm and monochromatic front. My forte were facades you've carelessly vandalized with crayon smiles. But I do not frown. Not anymore. You are chaos and tranquility in an imbalanced harmony. Maybe I am too. Ah yes, I see it all now. Currently, we are nothing. Concurrently, we are nothing but wrinkled fingers folding, fumbling for enough Ignorance not to confess our own desperation. The sands fall like ironic intravenous drips. As they tetris, we somber slowly, kicking the dust up. One day, a grain of sand will be a bucket. And the ground has been slowly pulling us back down. It is quicksand. I am struggling. The sunset, cinematically sinister. Rays spark over the horizon like fireworks. No, like pyrotechnic splendor, glistening the honey-glazed sun as we prepare for winter's weeps and the eternal slumber's stillness. The finale simply has to be grand. The tragedy, however, is the travesty. They will not bang a gong when you are gone. Not a tree shall fall and the forest frost shall not melt away. Do away with the fallacy. Do away with the grandiosity's toxicity. You are older now. The finale will be a simple whisper at a wreckage site. The sunset, a painting from a grayscale palette, painful pyrotechnic plummet. You were young then, when honey glazed sandwiches crescendo the countertop horizon. Reach, reach. You never did change. Short-handed. Who said the finale? was at the finish line. No, wait, that's not what I meant. 
A crick crick crocodile spinning, crick and crack. A clockwork ornament, a greasy gear self regurgitating, orchestrating, hard frustrated palpitations. A sk sk scaly sight, a cycle slice, it blurts and bleeds, I babble and blubber. The spinning of the k -k gear self regurgitates resentment, orchestrating arguments like, Aren't you sk sk afraid that you will cut her with your k -k -k scaly tongue? Fuck it. She deserves it. And after all the black and blue, all is left the white. In the waiting room, I wait for you. In the waiting room, I wait for you. Silent as a church mouse, with less faith than a... Wait, with less faith than a Christian. In the waiting room, I slowly slip a glass of water and silently swallow away the pain that I've been waiting in so long. Every night, I dip myself in insomnia, bathe myself in disbelief and baptize myself in soft loathing because deep down underneath all the smiles and promises underneath every gift and hug I drown my head beneath the waves because I don't believe you'll make it <laughs>